Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca automation playlist and we are talking about API testing. Now we have looked at many features available in the Tosca API scan and today I'm going to show you how you can add different attachments to your API message through API scan. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new message here, API message and I'm going to call it test attachment. Okay, and for this, uh, we are going to use an uh, endpoint. This is a sample endpoint which is available in Postman. Okay, it is the eco service which is used to test different features of Postman. It's a sample API service which is available uh, with Postman. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, endpoint. Okay, and uh, we have to uh, change the method to post. Okay. And then we need to go to the attachments tab. Okay, so from the payload, you will see there is an attachments tab here, and uh, here you can specify the name, file, content type, right? And here you can also load from a file. Okay, so when you click on file, there will be a load button which will appear here uh, with three ellipses. Click on that, and it will ask you to upload the file which you want to attach. Okay. Say for example, I want to attach this JSON source file. Okay, so I'm going to click on open and then the content type will be automatically uh, displayed here. So Tosca API scan will automatically detect what is the content type. And then uh, the name will also appear here. I can, obviously I can change this, but let it be for now, okay. So you can see you can uh, load the file from here and then automatically all the other fields will be uh, provided here okay now there are some additional options here like content transfer encoding uh, content type uh, omit file name okay so you can do that you can omit the file name and you can also enable uh, mtom now frankly i am not aware what is this but i can check back and uh, provide this in the comments if you require this okay but for now uh, this is what we are going to do we are going to attach this file uh, with this particular api message and we are going to run this now and you will see that uh, in the status code we'll get a 200 okay and um, in the payload so this particular api message it just uh, gets back the complete content of your attachment file Okay, so this is the uh, file content of the file which we have attached. Obviously, uh, it is encoded, so you cannot see what is there in that particular uh, content which is being returned by the response, right? But uh, this is how uh, for API messages where you need to send uh, maybe a file, a image, or anything, right? You can uh, attach that file or you can send um, an attachment right from your request okay you can just browse for the file and then uh, you, you have some additional options and after that you can just send the message and you will get back the response okay so it's a very simple way of um, basically attaching different files which are required for your particular API message and that's all for this short video I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. Do tune into our channel to watch more videos on Tracentis Tosca and API testing using the Tosca API scan.